Hey everybody, this is Steve Hausman with Linsatech.com. First, I'd like to apologize uh, for the quality of this video. I'm actually recording this on my Galaxy Tab in my car, as you can see. Um, so there's going to be a little camera shake, and it's not um, as high a quality as my normal camera. Not that my normal camera is all that great, but um, this will be a good two-part um, video. It'll be a good demo of the video recording quality of the Samsung Galaxy Tab and the the seven inch version the one that's currently available as of the making of this video um, it'll also the main focus of it is to demo the beta version of the new android music player app this is eventually going to be the default music player uh, there's a beta version out that kind of got leaked and the download link for it i got it from the android central website um, in their forums i'll put a link to that both in youtube and on the tens of tech site in the uh, post for this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, you basically just download it. There's an APK and they say it's kind of hit and miss where it installs. I'm doing this on a Samsung, uh, or I'm sorry, LG um, Optimus V on Virgin Mobile. I'm sure it'll work on all the, the Optimus variants. And I mean, that's the only one I can say 100% sure it works because that's what I have. So here we go. Let's launch it up. And you can see it's a completely different interface. Again, I apologize. Um, some of the stuff up at the top might be hard to see. Let's see if I can get in there. No, it's not helping. Okay, so at the top it says artists in the first column. And then we have albums. So you can just flip through it. And then songs. And then playlists. Genres. Let's see. Genres. And that's about it. So I just loaded a few albums on here. I got some Pink Floyd and some Tool. Um, just to show you what it looks like. So typical functionality of a music player on the artist section you know you can go into your artist then it lists your albums or all songs um, so let's just go in dark side of the moon arguably one of the best albums ever made um, so here we go here's your your uh, songs it's reading the ID3 tags the album art was downloaded automatically and then if we just go ahead and uh, launch in there let's see if I can Crank up the volume here. There we go. So there you go. You have your normal play options. Also, sorry about the sniffing. I got a little cold going on, so I apologize for that too. But you have your your replay and your shuffle. Uh, typical, you know, typical settings for a music player. If you go into menus, you can add it to your playlist. You can uh, hide the options, so it just makes the cover art bigger there. Uh, you can go into search and search for other songs in your music library. And it looks like it has some functionality to link into your Google account, but uh, let's go back out here, and I'll show you in the settings. It doesn't look like it's working on this. At least it didn't work when I tried it a few minutes ago, but let's, uh, who knows. let's go into settings. And you can select your Google account. So I'm going to kind of move the camera away and I'll push on this button see if anything happens here. And no, it doesn't happen. It just kind of hangs there. A blank account screen. So I don't know if that's something that's not implemented yet or if it's because it's leaked and it just doesn't work on this phone. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal is. But as far as a default player, it's actually pretty cool. It's uh, It's got a nice interface. And uh, you see there, my artist dropped out again. It is... A beta release let's see yeah no artists but I still have my album so let's see we should be able to go in here okay yeah it's still working it, it's got some glitches but it's definitely worth checking out um, they recommend that you make a backup of your system which you know you may or may not need it rooted depending on your system but uh, make a backup that way if you ever need to uninstall it you can go back to the default music player I haven't tried uninstalling this just through the application menu but um, yeah, it's hit and miss, so just to be safe, back everything up, which I did before I made this video. Okay, so that's the uh, new beta music player for Android that hopefully soon, in a future release of Android, we'll see it as the default player because the default player needs to be revamped. And uh, this has been Steve Housen with TonsOfTech.com. Please rate and subscribe to our YouTube videos. Uh, join the channel and um, you know follow us on Twitter. Sign up at our website. We got RSS feeds at the website, so you can add those into, you know, if you're using Pulse on your iOS device or Android or whatever you got, you can add it in there and get feeds all the time. And uh, 
Thanks. Let me know if you need any more information on this application or the phone or anything else you've seen us do a video on. Thanks a lot.